Hi guys, Aspen here. I'm out testing my Action 2 uh, after the firmware update was launched yesterday. Uh, I'm testing the camera now in low light. The sun has just gone down. Uh, everything is up to auto. Uh, and one of the updates was improving the exposure in low light. And let's see if they've done something with the stabilization too. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's a little bit shaky now. I'm only using the camera module. Uh, but it's fun to see if they improved something. Uh, uh, ISO is set to max uh, 3200 and minimum 100. So let's see how well the camera exposes and how the quality looks like. It's pretty it's difficult uh, conditions for an action camera in these conditions with the low light and as I said the sun has, sun, sun has just gone down so uh, it's gonna be fun to see I'm shooting in standard D-Warp uh, normal color profile everything is up to auto even the white balance of course you can tweak your white balance and I highly recommend doing that of course but I just want to test the camera in all auto to see how well it Compensate for low light and the difficult uh, lighting condition. I'm gonna also going to take up my GoPro Hero 10 just to test it and see. I'm going to use exactly the same settings so we can see how the camera performs side by side. But this is mainly for the Action 2 today, especially with the newest firmware, and it's going to be fun to see what uh, DJI can improve with this camera uh, going forward. Uh, so far I'm really happy with the Action 2. It's a good camera, it's small, compact and I really enjoy using it. But they still can make some improvement, that's for sure. So we're gonna see how everything is. Just see if you can see any flickering. That was a major problem with this camera. Uh, uh, in my other tests so just see what's happening on the skies and with the exposure if anything is flickering um, was interesting to see when I shot in uh, higher frame rates the flickering seems to be gone uh, I'm shooting now in 30 uh, 4k 30 just to see if there are in or any flickering and compressions troubles for the camera so uh, what do you think about the image I can't see a thing because I'm only using the camera module but uh, as you can see it's pretty bad lighting condition the Sun is going down exactly now but can you see anything behind me in the sky is it exposing and see in my face are my face exposed I really enjoy uh, using the Action 2 because I like the color science on uh, DJI products. Uh, I think that the GoPro colors looks nice, of course, in the right lighting condition. But uh, sometimes I think that the GoPro is way too contrast and too saturated, in my opinion. And when I'm using my camera, the GoPro camera for vlogging, uh, my my face looks a little bit strange and too contrasty, in my opinion. But somebody liked that. So can you see any difference uh, after this update? Uh, gonna be fun to see. So I'm gonna take up my GoPro Hero 10 and we can compare them side by side. Everything is gonna be set to exactly the same, all auto. As I said, of course you can do some tweaking. Uh, with manual settings and I highly recommend doing that but I just want to see how well the camera performs in all auto because I think many people are using their cameras in auto settings so let's take up our GoPro Hero 10 and see okay guys we're back again both camera is set to auto 4k 30 linear mode on the GoPro Hero 10 and and standard D-Warp in uh, on the Action 2 so how are the camera uh, exposing and uh, how is the image stabilization 
on both of these camera. You can see behind me on the sky how does it look and how does the camera expose to my face. On the screen on the GoPro it seems to be a little bit dark but that's typical GoPro. Now I can see my face is pretty bright uh, but it's gonna be fun to see how this camera is side by side and the stabilization of course. It's pretty bad lighting condition out now um, so it's not opti optimal conditions for neither of these cameras of course but I think many people are using their cameras later uh, after the sun has gone down so it should be possible to use uh, in the evening that's what we want to do uh, action sport can be done uh, later at night too but how is the camera exposing to my face you can see the sky behind me and you can see that the sun is going down uh, but I'm interested to see how the stabilization is both camera has the newest firmware I know that you have a new firmware on the GoPro Hero 10 but that's a firmware for the max lens mode I don't have that well I think I'm gonna get that too but that firmware is in beta mode so uh, can be some issues with that but let's see how these camera perform now I'm gonna walk on the trail and I'm gonna try to walk as normal as possible and see how the stabilization is like I said it's pretty bad lightning condition out but both of these camera should perform really good and it's gonna be fun to see if DJI has done something with what the hell was that did something with uh, the bugs uh, with the latest firmware and they said in the update that they done something with the exposure especially in low light and I got some flickering in in the image uh, before with the action too uh, but how are the cameras performing let's walk normal and see no horizon leveling on neither of the camera linear mode on the Hero 10 and standard D walk on the action 2 so let's walk normal and see how the stabilization perform possibly pretty bad but uh, in the future maybe we can get a bigger sensors in these cameras so they will perform better in low light conditions but then the stabilization can be an issue on the camera because as I read there are some issues with that but we will see always the camera performing I think I'm going to turn around and face the cameras towards me and we're going to see how they perform then let's do that okay guys I have the camera facing uh, away from me and walking this way it seems to me that uh, on the GoPro screen the image lo look a little bit brighter but the grass look really brown uh, on the DJI Action 2 it seems to be more green and more right colors but it's always interesting to see how the stabilization is on both camera neither of these camera are any low light kings so you have to remember that but how is the stabilization and can you see any flickering in the image or compressions problems in low light both of these cameras perform really good in good lightning condition uh, and it's going to be interesting to see let's shoot some grass always the exposure it looks really dark on the DJI action screen let's see close up it's not that easy to hold my hand completely still let's see out here can you see any details at all there's not many leaves left <laughs> it's autumn in Norway 
and it's starting to get colder but with colder weather we usually get better weather so that's great I don't mind colder weather How are the cameras performing? Can you see any green here? Let's see how the colors look on both cameras. This is green moss. Uh, it seems to be a pretty dark on the Action 2 screen. But I think I turned down the brightness on the screen just to save some battery. Oh, this is going to be fun to see. This is a really good low light cast. Of course, in pitch dark, uh, dark uh, it's not possible to use these cameras at all. Then you need some kind of external lightning, but still, you will have issues with the stabilization. Let's do a little bit of running. It's going to be useless, but let's do that. Is it bumpy as hell? <laughs> Not easy to keep my hands still. Yeah. That's it. Okay guys, let's go back. Uh, this is not a review on which camera is better than the other, but it's always uh, nice to see which camera performs best in settings like this. I know that many people really like the GoPro camera, and it's an excellent camera for sure. The Action 2 uh, has gotten a lot of uh, criticism on uh, YouTube, but I still think this camera is really, really good, and uh, I'm gonna keep it, because I think that DJI will come up with uh, some good updates for this camera, and I think they can build something with the modular design. The Hero 10, they've done some tweaking with it, especially with the overheating issues, and that's good to see. Uh, I still like the Hero 10, and the build on the Hero 10 is much better in many ways than the Action 2, uh, and that's because of uh, it's all plastic, rubber, and the Action 2 is a steel body or aluminium design. Uh, but I have a protection case for the Action 2, the small rig cage. Uh, looks really nice and really small and it protects the camera from scratching. Yes, so what do you think guys? Is there a massive difference between these two cameras? I'm walking pretty normal in low light and which camera do you prefer? The Action 2 with the latest update and the GoPro Hero 10 with the latest update beside the better firmware but that's only for the Max Lens mode so um, yeah thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope to see you on the next, next one and of course remember to subscribe to my channel uh, and hit that bell and all of that uh, many videos will come and I'll see you in the next one bye bye